Hey guys, this is my review for The Flash Season 2 finale, The Race of His Life. So, this episode takes place from the ending of last week's episode, in which um, Henry Allen was just killed by Zoom. Um, Barry's crying over his body, and after some taunting from Zoom, Barry starts chasing him around the city, and... Zoom seemingly tra time travels and creates a time remnant of himself, which fights Barry in an alley. As Barry is about to is contemplating killing him, um, Zoom kills the time remnant, saying he's not quite ready, and that if he ever wants to beat, if Barry ever wants to beat him, he has to be willing to kill himself. And so Zoom runs off, and the whole and Team Flash goes to Henry Allen's funeral, and Barry's too broken up to give the eulogy, and so. Joe does. Wally thanks Barry for all he's done for the city and tries to console him. And as well as I, as well as Iris, who says that he has to find a way to get you know get over his death um, in the same way he did with his mom's death, or else the grief's going to consume him. But then Barry runs after Z Barry sees Zoom again. Barry chases after him and. Zoom said he wants to race. He wants to race Barry to see who's the fastest man alive on either one of their Earths. And if he doesn't agree to his terms, they're going to kill the rest of his friends and loved ones. And of course, Barry says he's going to agree to his terms, but um, Harry realizes that um, Zoom stole a pulsar from. He basically stole a like a pulsar from. I guess from Mercury Labs, and it creates this, and attaches to, and created this, I guess this like giant ring that's gonna, that's in this picture next to me, and that he wants to use it as a means to destroy the entire multiverse by siphoning the the energies from both himself and Barry. And Barry just says he has to beat, he has to beat him in a race, and in order to stop him, and Joe realizes, and Barry admits that he just wants to kill Zoob and make him suffer for everything he's done. And Team Flash realized it. Team Flash, presumably learning their lesson from letting Barry, you know, just go and, you know, just go, you know, just letting him do things, being, being that he's so stubborn, and I guess presumably learning from their mistakes from last year's finale and putting the universe in danger. Um, they all agreed to, like, trank Barry with it and put him in the pipeline and just let him cool off. And. Everyone, you know, everybody, especially Cisco and Iris, are um, hurt by having to do this. But they decided to just lock them in the pipeline. Decided to go after Zoom on their own, in which they plan to. Caitlin tr tries to, you know, appeal to Zoom to what humanity he has and say that she wants to go back with him and she and that he was right about her having darkness inside of him, inside of her. And Zoom doesn't fall for it, but they don't realize that the Caitlyn that she that he's talking to is actually a hologram created from the same technology that Barry was using when he lost his speed. And so um, Joe uses the boot to use the boot on hit Zoom's neck, but then his trank guard the trank dart jam, so he has to run down into the industrial park and trank Zoom in person face to face. And when Harry tries to blast him with his laser, and Cisco opens up a breach to send him back to Earth 2, Joe accidentally gets sucked back in. And when Wally finds out what happens, he's what's transpired, he's furious as to what they've all done, and that he lets the Flash out of the pipeline, and he and Flash is still in anguish, and Caitlin of all people is trying to is trying to calm him down, saying he knows what it's like to lose somebody, but he's gotta keep a level head and and she tries to comfort him the same way Barry comforted her when Ronnie died. So he decides because they're out of options that he has to race Zoom. And so Vibe uses the same technology he used to help Iris, the Vibe Iris, into the Speed Force to get to, to talk to Barry. Um, he uses it as a means to have Barry communicate with um, Zoom, saying that he'll race on his terms as long as he brings as long as he brings his father back. And while on Earth 2, Joe learns that he tr Zoom tried to travel to other Earths to siphon the speed from 
um, other speedsters and time race were coming after him. And the man in the Iron Mask, as everyone predicted, turned out to be Jay Garrick. The real Jay Garrick, who we find out is later from Earth 3. And since Zoom could, did not have siphon his speed, he just decided to keep him prisoner as a trophy. And when he, and so he, so Joe. Well, the odd thing is that Barry never asked about him, even though he made a promise to the man in the Iron Mask that he would come back for him. But anyway, Zoom brings Joe back to back to Earth One. They have the race around the ring. And Barry's able to create a time rem rem remnant of, of himself while um, that frees that frees Joe from his shackles. While Zoom realizes what he'd done, he pushes the f f original Barry out of the ring, and, and they start fighting one another. While the time remnant runs around the pulsar, which Harry calls it, and is able to and creates like this whole like red sky. Um, this whole like red sky cloud, like in the Crisis of Infinite Earths, and even the imagery of the time run disintegrating, it's the same as similar to what happened to Barry during that comic book storyline. And it turns out Zoom's plan was basically to destroy the entire multiverse, Saints Earth One, just because he said he needs somewhere to hang up, just he, just because he wanted somewhere to still rule, and Earth One was the access point to all the other multiverses. But Zoom is it, but just, but Barry's able to best Zoom in battle. You know, part of his mask has come off, and like you can see, his teeth is all bloodied, and and the time, and it opens up a breach where time rates come through and abduct, you know, start suck, sucking the life force out of Zalem in. And we have another Easter egg in which he starts to look like just like the Black Flash from the comics, and then the time rates take him through the breach to either. I guess either torture him or he actually becomes, or he might actually become like the Black Flash. I mean, it's a little bit, it's left a little bit ambiguous, but, but then everyone's at home celebrating and, well, after, before they home, they're home celebrating, um, Cisco and Harry helping the man in the Iron Mask, and it turns out, as everybody also predicted, he does look like, um, Henry Allen, because since he mentioned that Garrick was um, his mom's for, for a maiden name, and Barry's so broken up about it, that he has to like leave the room, and it's a little bulky on him, but he actually does have like a, a similar um, costume scheme to um, to uh, when Solomon was posing as him. And the real Jay Garrick take, does, decides to take Hunter Zolomon's helmet to use it as a symbol of hope on his Earth. And Harry and Jesse decide to decide to go back to Earth 2 just to continue living out their lives and help the original Jay get home. And, you know, while they're celebrating, Barry and, you know, Barry and Iris finally kiss and tell them they love each other and that, but Barry said he's too broken up by the whole, by the whole series of events, to be in a relationship right now, and that he needs to like, you know, get himself together. And Iris says that you wait, you know, that he waited for her for years, and that he'll do this, and that he'll be there when he returns to find some inner peace. But it turns out, in a shocking sort of events, Barry actually decides to run back in time to the events of his mom's murder and unlike the, the first season finale he actually does stop Eobard Thawne from killing his mom and like knock and like knocks him unconscious and the version and the past version of him that originally tried to make the first attempt from the season one finale starts to fade out of existence and it, Nora Allen is just horrified as to what's happening Barry just goes over to him saying that she's going to be okay that she's not there to, he's not there to harm him and I thought this was, and this is what I really like. I mean, like I said, the first season finale I liked more because it had, was more emotionally powerful. But, and, you know, like I said, some things were pretty, you know, it was kind of somewhat, there were some aspects of it that were a little bit more predictable for this year's season finale, except for, you know, Barry going back in time to basically initiate Flashpoint or the fact that they were going to make a nod to Crisis of Infinite Earths. Um... I also liked how, and for the 
for the first time in a while that, you know, Team Flash isn't going to make some half-hearted attempt to um, talk Barry out of doing something or just to sort of just give up and figure, it, oh, well, he's too pig-headed. We just got to let him do what he wants. But considering the stakes, they just finally realized, no, we can't, like, open up another whole new universe, put another any more universes at risk. Which I feel like they do more... Which I feel like I wish they'd just do more here on this show like they do on Arrow when his when his, team Arrow tries to, when Ollie's friends try to talk him off a ledge so to speak but um so it just felt like you know nobody was really you know everybody's motivations were understandable nobody was acting like really stupid for the sake of the plot other than um arguably Barry towards the end but at the same time just because of the fact that, you know, he hasn't learned the Speed Force told him that he's not immune to tragedy and that he can't save everybody. But either way, it's going to be an interesting development to see how how many episodes, if they're going to go beyond any episodes beyond that, see how they're going to do their version of Flashpoint. And still a pretty good episode, still a pretty good way to cap off the season. And what do you guys think of it? How do you think it compares to, how do you think the season this finale compared compared to last year's which season did you like better seasons one or season two your thoughts in the comments down below if you like this video like share and subscribe and i will talk to you guys soon take care